Hey everybody, this is Dave Mechazone White, and today we're going to recap DesignerCon 2018, held at the very beautiful Anaheim Convention Center. The previous shows I've been to were in Pasadena, but uh, this was also very nice, much larger. Banners up everywhere. This is actually the back of the convention center. The front looks like the Legion of Doom from the old Super Frank cartoons. It's very cool, but you had to walk around the building to see it. So let's head on in. We actually uh, picked up our badges on Friday. This footage was shot on Saturday. So when we get in the hall, you'll see a lot of people are already set up. And we had helpers this year, so I'd really like to shout out and thank Mitch and Sabra and Logan. All of them really were helpful and friendly and just awesome people all around. So I hope they had a good time too. And here we are going into the main hall and it's still before the show has opened. So a lot of people aren't there yet. This is to show you what the show looked like before people got in there. Kind of give you a feeling of the scale of everything. This was shot on Friday. Absolutely enormous place. Here's the map. All those blue things are made up of little, little squares. Those squares are 10 feet by 10 feet booths. Zoom in here to the opening. This is where everybody came in. So to get to one end, you had to walk all the way over there. That's where I was there in the green area. But I did find my booth, Mechazone 2530. But let's take a look at the map from last year. Here's the map from last year. And we'll pull out and you can see this year's is like two and a half times at least larger. I mean, it was, the aisles were really wide and everything. Gigantic. Here we have uh, everything basically that I made for the show. Yeah, it looks like a lot, right? It, it was, it took me about 10 weeks, maybe closer to three months to make everything. A Little bit of something for everybody. Mini mechs, big mechs, giant oversized stuff. Uh, I sold out on Saturday last year and really didn't make much money on Sunday, so I made extra stuff this year. And sales were good this year, and I made about 25% more than usual. Now here's everything before the show. It's like we take everything out of the bags, we transport it that way, and then put them in the bags at the show. So that's where our helpers came in. And then we set up the table, tried some new stuff this year. As you can uh, see with those bags, they look really good on that peg wall. kind of gives you a nostalgic feel. But one of the new things we tried was the cardboard steps that the guys are on and then also the acrylic signs in the background so that we went vertical and captured more people's eyes and also gave a more professional presentation where you weren't just seeing through the art junk in the back you had that sort of backdrop and here's a detail of some of those backdrop images the explorer and anubis the defender the new version 2 Comantis, which everybody was going crazy about the brand new dynamo that I just revealed the day before and the show special the star sniper so let's get into what the show was actually like for the attendees this is on Saturday kind of see the crowds lining up I never actually witnessed that my wife took the pictures I was in here you know rubbing elbows and get ready for the show this is one of the lines for the Japanese guys there but uh, they made that line disperse before the show opened and we've got some stuff from Toy Pizza. And now we're just going to go through pictures of whatever my wife captured as we were going along. Like she walked through the show a little bit here, you can see. And uh, she took pictures of some of the stuff that caught her eye. But since we've been a few times, you know, we've seen a lot of these booths. And we're sort of used to what, what people have. It kind of, you know, it's not exactly the same every year, but it has the same vibe. So I don't know uh, what your favorite thing is. Vinyls or prints or little sculptures. They had it all, you know. That was the Planet Asia booth. They had Keshi as well as vinyl painted figures. The Benalian. <laughs> A lot of crafty stuff. Some cast, some hand sculpted, like made out of sculpting and you're buying the original, which I always think is really cool. 3D printing stuff like me and that guy with the skulls there. Of course, there's always bootlegs and stuff. Uh, Toy Tokyo had this giant booth. I don't have the slightest idea what was going on at this thing. I never got to walk back and see it, but I, I guess cars, okay. Has something to do with designer toys, I'm not sure.
Oh yeah, this is from Dream Rocket. I have one of their pieces. Always beautiful stuff they do. Oh yeah, and uh, here is the Jurassic Park area. That life-size T-Rex was really rad. Before they put up the banners, I was over there. You know, <laughs> basically make it out with that thing. It was awesome. Yeah, we're pretty close to my booth now. It's just kind of working our way back around. These guys were neat. Little test tube looking sculptures and stuff. These robots were all made out of cut paper. And you could buy them in kits. I think you could buy them in kits and then make them yourself. Max Toyko, Mark Nagata, he's a rad dude. That's not his stuff, but that was his banner. So now we have a little panorama shot of my area. We call it the Glyos block or the O'Neill block because uh, Matt Dowdy sort of organizes everything. But we've got God Beast, Toy Mafia, Spy Monkey Creations, Wamu, Punk Drunkers, Real Head, Kakoto, We've got Pix Bricks down on the end there, those two guys, and then we've got uh, Toy Pizza. So everybody gets along, hangs out, has a good time. We're all like toy family, I guess, best way to put it. But everybody that comes to that area to shop sort of collects the same thing, so it's good for us. Now that was Joe. He was my very first customer of the day, of the show, actually. And then just some... Uh, sort of pictures of people that I met. It's always awesome because people come from all over the place, you know, across the country and across the world. That one guy was Stryker Wong, who does Beast Box. That's Joseph from Planet Asia. That's Drew Wise. He actually uh, invented Mecha Boy and did concept art. So it's good stuff. And finally, that's Yuta Tabari, who does 1000 Toys. So you can see we were having maybe a little too much fun. But if you come to DesignerCon, you will also have fun, I guarantee it. And uh, thanks for watching my video, everybody. Take care.